Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the very important question that is what is mean by lanthanide contraction and what are the consequences and what is the cause for the lanthanide contraction. First I am going to discuss about definition of lanthanide contraction. So here the definition of lanthanide contraction is the decrease in ionic radii from lanthanum to lutetium due to imperfect shielding of 4f electrons from nuclear charge is called as lanthanide contraction. The another way we can define this one as the study decrease, the study decrease in sizes of lanthanides with the increasing atomic number is called lanthanide contraction. Here you can notice there is a regular decreasement of the atomic sizes from lanthanum to lutetium which is known as lanthanide contraction and this is due to the imperfect shielding of 4f electrons from the nucleus. So let's see what is the reason for the contraction of the lanthanides. If we notice the lanthanide, the outermost electron that is general electronic configuration is this one. As we know that is n minus 2 f 1 to 14, n minus 1 d 0 to 1 n s 2. Here lanthanide is corresponds to the 6th period, so substitute n equals to 6, so 4f 1 to 14, 5d 0 to 1, 6s 2. So notice here students carefully, the 6s 2 electrons is common for, for all, from lanthanum to lutetium, every nucleus is consisting same number of s electrons. And the d electrons, there is a slight variation that is d 0 to r 1, 1 electron difference is there. The only difference you will observe in the 4f electrons, right. There is a large difference from lanthanum to lutetium from 1 to 14 electrons. So, if we notice the valency shell that is 6s, this is the valency outermost shell, this is 6s and next to the valency shell that is 5d. So, you can notice this is a fifth orbit. So, it is consisting 5d. So, 6s is consisting common for all that is 2 electrons and 5d is consisting either 1 or 0 electron. This is a next to the valence shell that is penultimate shell and next in a shell is anti-penultimate shell that is 4f, right. So, this is the 4f, this is the anti-penultimate shell. So, the all the electrons are entering into the anti-penultimate shell in the f block, right. So, in the lanthanum there is no f electron but cerium it is having one electron it is going to enter for cerium and prosodymium, neodymium it is gradually increases 3, 4, 5 up to 14. So as the number of electrons increases from lanthanum to lutetium, gradually the number of protons also increases. Automatically the nuclear charge increases towards outermost electron, the effective nuclear charge also increases. Notice here one thing, the number of which electrons are increasing from lanthanum to lutetium? F electrons, right? 1 to 14. So, F electrons is having a diffused kind of shape. Means it can't protect nucleus, outermost electron from the nuclear attraction. So, it is having poor shielding capacity. So, due to poor shielding capacity of F orbital electrons, so the nuclear attraction towards outermost electron will become greater and greater. So, this is the reason as the number of electrons increases, so automatically, so the electrons are entering into the innermost shell that is a anti-penultimate shell and protons also increases. So, proton increases and effective nuclear charge towards outermost electron increases. Gradually, the size is going to decrease. It shows some contraction. So, what is mean by effective nuclear charge? Dead jet star. The effective nuclear charge, that means the actual charge which is getting by the outermost electron. So here, because of shielding capacity, it may be reduced. So that can be calculated Z minus S. Z means atomic number. S is the shielding capacity between these two orbits. But as I said, the F orbital is having diffused kind of shape, right? So due to diffused kind of shape, the F orbital electrons are having very poor shielding capacity. So you can neglect this term. So that's why the Z star will become Z, that is atomic number. From lanthanum to lutetium, atomic number increases from 57 to 71. Automatically, the effective nuclear charge, that is Z star, also increases. So, this is the way, this is the reason for the lanthanide contraction, right. 
so the lanthanide contraction we can define one more time so here you can notice the steady decrease in atomic sizes of lanthanide ions with increasing atomic number is called lanthanide contraction this is due to increasement of number of 4f orbital electrons from cerium to lutetium is this clear so next we are going to see what are the reasons the reasons i already discussed we are going to write one more time the first reason first reason as number of 4f electrons increases so 4f electrons are having poor shielding capacity that is a poor screening capacity so due to poor screening capacity why poor screening capacity because it is having a diffused kind of shape it can't protect properly the outermost electron from the nuclear attraction as number of 4f electrons increases gradually the z effective atomic number also increases and size gradually going to decreases so this is called as lanthanide contraction the main reason is due to the poor screening capacity of 4f electrons because of its diffused shape and z effective atomic number gradually increases right next what are the consequences of lanthanide contraction before go, moving to the consequences we will see the graphical representation how this lanthanide contraction we are going to represent see here in this graph so this is the atomic number of lanthanum to lutetium that is 57 to 71 as atomic number increases what is going to happen so the ionic radii is gradually decreases from 105 to 85 picometer right we have to notice here one thing so this is a picometer if you make it average each element atomic radii is gradually decreases around 1.5 picometer that means there is a regular decreasement of atomic radii from lanthanum to lutetium so this decreasement is because of number of electron because each element is getting one more f electron as one electron increases one z star will increase so f electrons are increasing automatically effective nuclear charge also increases right so this is the graphical representation from this you can understand how the lanthanide contraction is happening so next what are the effects and consequences of lanthanide contraction the first consequence is see here the lanthanides in the periodic table where it was located here so this is the lanthanides it was located around that is a third series of transition elements this is the first series second series third series here lanthanides are noticed right due to this lanthanide contraction the second series of transition elements show similar properties with the third series you know that group size is gradually increases that means from here to here here to here here to here size will increase but here gradual increasement rather than increasement there is a decreasement is happening because of lanthanide contraction so it will become almost equal size so that's why there is a similarity in the properties of zirconium and hafnium so the first consequent is the zirconium and hafnium shows similar in the properties because of its lanthanide contraction the second consequent is from lanthanum to lutetium the size is decreases right as we discussed here the size is decreases so when size decreases what will happen when size decreases automatically size decreasing means the nuclear charge will increase charge increases means the electronegativity increases electronegativity means the electron accepting capacity electron accepting capacity also increases and also size decreases means the ip value that means ionization potential that means the energy required to remove outermost electron is also increases electronegativity increases ip increases at the same time cation size decreases according to fasan's rule the polarizability that is a polarizability of cation sorry polarizing power of cation increases covalent character also increases so we know that covalent character increases covalent character increases means the size is going to decrease covalent character increases here we have to notice lanthanum to lutetium size is decreasing size decreasing means gradually density is increases and hardness is increases right next the fourth consequent is from lanthanum to lutetium you can notice 
size decreases gradually the basicity also decreases basicity means donating capacity it can't donate right it is smaller size greater nuclear attraction so it can't donate basicity is reduces and also reducing capacity that is reducing asian capacity also decreases you can notice here compared to the lanthanum hydroxide the lutetium hydroxide is less basic lanthanum hydroxide is more basic and lutetium hydroxide is less basic the reason is lanthanide contraction right and also which is acting as a best reducing agent the reducing agent is the one which is having undergoing oxidation helping for the reduction so lanthanum always act as a best reducing agent than lutetium so these are the five total five consequences of lanthanide contraction and thank you for watching this video